I usually only speak about the Bible and stuff like that, but I really feel the need to speak about women and men and about dating. And I am going to really talk about simple things, but it may be simple to many, but for others, it may not be simple. So women and men. So let me start with men first, because I don't want women to think that I am picking on them and stuff like that. Men. When you are a trying, when you are trying to attract women and you are flashing your money or your car or something expensive, then you attract a woman by doing those things. So you attract a woman with your money. Okay. When your money runs out, why are you surprised that she is not interested anymore? You baited her with money and she agreed with it. So why are you surprised that she is gone now? When the whole agreement was money. Like, hey, in so many words, you were saying to that woman, hey, I got money, come with me. So she is not a gold digger or anything like that. You agreed with those terms. Think about that. So why do you believe when you do that each time, you can't say that all women are bad or they only want money and stuff like that. No, what you are doing, you are attracting the wrong women. So all women are not bad. Just the way that you get women is bad. You don't bait women with your money. You come to them with your personality, not your money. Your personality is always going to be there, but your money may not always be there. So if you want a woman, do it the right way. Build up your personality, not your money. Well, you know, she only want my money. Stop flashing your money. The way that we present ourselves, usually that is the type of person that we are going to attract. So if we dress a certain way or our personality is a certain way, why are we surprised that we are not getting what we want? For instance, women. Some women, not all women, but some women really wear tight clothes, you know, showing parts of their breast in their butt, in their hips and thighs and stuff like that. Okay, revealing body parts and stuff like that. And they attract a man by dressing in that way. Let me say this. If any type of woman, even if they are not that pretty, if they came outside with no clothes on, she is going to attract the attention of 98% of guys and females. Why? Because she is outside naked. You are not supposed to be outside naked. So something that is not normal, of course you are going to attract attention. That, not, that is not saying that you are this special type of woman or anything like that. You have no clothes on. Okay, a woman wearing really tight clothes, showing, you know, her breast and her butt and stuff like that. Why are you attracting attention? You are showing your body parts. Not the same way as porn and stuff like that, but 
if a woman is showing her body parts, something that all women don't do, of course you are going to attract attention. So you expect to get a good man by dressing in that way. In the past, I was a bad guy. And I loved women that wore tight clothes. There would be a woman that wasn't really wearing tight clothes. She was wearing ordinary clothes. And there would be a woman who would wear really tight clothes, showing her boobs and stuff like that. Of course, my attention is going to be on the woman that is halfway dressed. Why? Because she is showing more. So me being as a bad guy back in the past, of course, I went for women that way. Nine times out of ten, you are not going to attract a man dressing in that way. Listen, you can dress any way that you want, but you can't complain that all men are dogs. It makes no sense. You are dressed... What's a good way to say it? You are halfway dressed. And you say that all men are dogs. But you are halfway dressed. If the guys that you admit that you are attracting are dogs, then what are you? You are going to attract people the way that you present yourself those are the type of people you are going to attract so why are you so furious or believe that all men are dogs when you are dressed in that way a respectable woman is not going to reveal parts and pieces of her breast in her behind and show leggings and yoga pants. Respectable women are not going to come out in public wearing those types of plants, those pants, showing the outline of their butt in curves and stuff like that. A good man is not going to be, how can I say this? A good man would not want to marry a woman like that. Yes, a man may want to have sex with women like that. So if your aim is just to go around having sex with people, well, go right ahead. But if you are trying to get married or something like that, you are going about it the wrong way. Because I would never marry a woman that is halfway dressed or wearing stuff like that. So of course you are going to attract bad men. This goes with men too. If they go around sagging their pants, showing their underwear and stuff like that, why do you believe that you are going to find a good woman when you are presenting yourself in that way? What type of woman would want a guy <laughs> sagging their pants, showing their un... I don't know where that comes from. I think that comes from prison or something. That is so homosexual. And I am not trying to be mean or anything like that. You are not going to attract a good woman presenting yourself in that way. Presentation is everything. Now, if you don't care, well, you just do whatever you want to do. But you can't complain anymore. You can wear women. You can wear tight clothes, reveal your boobs and stuff like that. You are not going to get a good man. Guys, you can sag your pants and flash your money to women and stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, you are not going to get a good woman because of your presentation. A woman can dress in ordinary clothes. I am not saying that a woman has to wear baggy pants. No, pants or a dress that fits. It does not have to be overly tight.
me think about that. So you can't say that all women or men are bad. No, your presentation is bad. Because if you want someone to like you, you don't have to wear a tight shirt and <laughs> tight jeans showing off your breasts or showing off your underwear. <laughs> you don't have to flash your money. How about do it the old fashioned way with your personality? women and men why not show your personality attract a person with your personality what is wrong with that think about that isn't that the most effective way to get someone to like you let your personality shine or is that saying that your personality is not that great? So, you have to dress like a whore, prostitute, or whatever else, or you have to sag your pants and show your underwear or flash your money out, make it rain, as they say. You have to do all of those things to get people to like you other than sitting down and talking to them and those people liking you for your personality. You attract people with your personality, not with your breasts, not with your money, not with lies and stuff like that. No, with your personality. So work on your personality. Does that make any sense? And this goes for young women and men and older women and men as well. If you want someone to like you, Stop all of these decoys because those decoys are going to run out. Women, if you are only attracting men with your breasts and your butt and stuff like that, what is going to happen when you get older? When your breasts is going to sag and your butt and stuff like that, what are you going to do? <laughs> men, what happens if you lose your job? and stuff like that eventually you are going to have to work on your personality if you don't if you want something and I learned this back in my early 20s I believe I forget if I wanted something even as a bad man back when I was younger even as a bad man, I knew if I wanted a certain type of female, I had to present myself a certain way. Of course, you know, I'm wearing this old shirt and, you know, and sweatpants and stuff like that because I don't care. But I knew that back then, if I wanted a certain type of female, a certain way and stuff like that, I knew that I had to present myself a certain way. Let's say that there's class one, class two, class three, you know, of women out there. I knew if I wanted a class two woman, I couldn't do things or do the same things that would get me a class one woman. Same thing with females. If you want a class three guy, you can't do the same things that you would do for a class one guy. Does that make any sense? Since you have to change your presentation. Presentation is everything. So, like I said before, usually I only make videos about God, but <laughs> I felt the need to make this one. Because there may be some people out there who want to date and stuff like that and they look on TV and get the wrong examples of how to attract a woman and a man. The wrong examples. You don't lead with your wallet. You don't lead with your breasts and your butt and stuff like that. Because if you lead wrong, you are going to end wrong. Now, when I was doing all those bad things, that is what 
I learned. But I did so much bad things, but <sighs> presentation. If you forget everything that I have talked about, remember a presentation. Lead with your personality. That's it. Okay, God bless.